All right. So, all right. <laughs> all right. Let's go. But ahead. you have like pictures of bourbon all over the place? Mm, no, I probably have pictures of you. Ooh. Oh, I don't no. want to be the focus of your bourbon room. Uh, okay. All righty. I, I think you're ready. I'm ready. All right. Make sure I'm not in Facebook. Uh, don't have any pages that will make any noises. Phones are off. And here we go. Um, shoot. All right, here we go. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your Lemmy couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is October 29th, 2018. And Renee, I'm going to take a quick guess that this is episode 254. Wrong. 253. Yay. Yay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Valentine Cast. I'm Jay. AKA who doesn't have his notes up. Notes up. And that's my lovely wife who keeps me in check, Renee. How are you doing today? It's a little tough to keep you in check. Uh, You kind of go rogue, so... But if you the, go rogue, I don't, I can't really. Here's the thing, though. What? When I do go rogue, it's not as bad as it used to be. No, it's not. So. It, and it depends on your level of drinking. If it's at your ankles or your chest or your neck or yeah. the top of your head, it's it, it varies. But the thing is, though, so here, here here's the thing. It's not even on the drinking. I, I will admit. I would say my threshold may be slightly lower. But it depends on the piss offery that I'm on. Mm, yes, you know? how much, how many F's you have left to give in the day? Oh, okay. okay. I, I thought I thought I said something. No, um, you're good. So yeah. Uh, so I just want to say hi <laughs> to the chat room. Hi. Hi, Valen Tavern. How you doing today? Hey, we have uh, Shazno. What's up? He's in the house. Jodeci Ooh, is yeah. here. And apricot droop fruit. I want you to be real so bad. Apricot droop, droop fruit. fruit. Uh, mm. That sounds yummy. <laughs> that does sound yummy, though. Oh, how could I forget to put this on here? We'll talk about this first. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah. It's been... An amazing week. Yes, um, we're here. We are here to see, to give you more of us. And we are, and um, so we are at minute mark two minutes and fifty one seconds for those that were looking to cash in. Are we really still doing this? We're what? not doing this. We talking about the yawning. We're not. Oh, doing did you this. yawn? Oh, 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 did you yawn? I wasn't oh. even. I wasn't even looking. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention. I hate you guys. But yeah. <laughs> I hate you guys so, so much. So, we'll let you know why we're called the Lemmy. Yes, in a minute. But for right now, let's talk about escaping polygamy. <laughs> Jay <laughs> brought me into this and he brought me in deep. Hot, and, hot and fast. Hot and fast. <laughs> yeah. So, Jay said, oh, I've been watching this show called Escaping Polygamy polygamy but turns out it was a four it was, it was they four only had the four episode. Four, four of season three yeah and four i was like and i was like eh you know what i'm okay with that i don't feel like i have to go back to to see it but then i was kind of like i couldn't find it and so i was messing around and i was a i was able to find it in its own lifetime um through their lifetime app for the television mm-hmm. you know and Renee was kind of like, oh, yeah, I read about him, all, all that other stuff. And, you know, she kind of 
you kind of blew it off a I little bit. I did not. Huh? Maybe I did. You did. You just uh-huh. kind of like, I read the book. You know, so I know about it. Right. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. Then I was just kind of like, and then two, when I found out it was season three, I was kind of like, I think uh, Renee wouldn't watch it anyway because just third season. Yeah, she, she I wouldn't have watched beginning. it, no. And so I was messing around. That's, that's the reason I blew it off. It was right. the third season. Well, you didn't know that until... No, no, you, you didn't know me. it at that point. Mm, no, you did not. Go look at the me. chat log. Mm, okay. Chat log. Okay. C- continue. <laughs> um. So, um, I messed around and found it, and I was like, "Hey, do you want to, you know, start from the beginning?" Renee was like, "Yeah, you know, just start from the beginning with me." You yeah, know? of course I will. So we started binging it, you know, and it and is. I, oh so, my god. Oh, okay, I can't even say it's so good. It's not so good. It's so enthralling. It is. It is, it is crazy. Unreal. It is unreal and crazy. And Utah is one effed up state with their effed up laws about children. And uh, uh, Kentucky is with their hate crime law. Yes. So I, I'm, just, I'm just throwing that out there for yeah, right Kentucky now. Yeah, Kentucky is also nuts with, it. with their don't uh, even with their hate law, which we will talk about. Yeah. I don't know. What do you want to talk about that? You want that to be at the end, or you want to be at the top? Let's do it now. Okay, but anyway, we'll get to it in a second. But, well, uh, okay, so escaping. Polygamy is basically these three girls that were in one of the worst uh, p- polygamous group. cult groups. Uh, yeah, the cult. Yeah, yeah it's, call it what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a cult. Um, in Utah, and it, it's it's the Kingston. Um, they're called the Order, and oh my god, so they got out because the girls are being married off at like 14, 15, 16 years old. And it is insane what they have these girls do. It's insane what they tell these people and brainwash them to believe it's nuts. And I mean, if you're, if, if that's the only thing, you know, you don't know that there is something better, you know, Uh you don't know that what they're doing is so wrong. Um, it is, it is, it is a good watch and it's, and, and a lot, and sometimes it's really heartbreaking. It is because there's not always a happy ending. It's not one of those kind of shows. So um, I did read books about it, but this is more more than I've ever gotten to see. So um, yeah, we're binging that. Um, that kind of goes along with the craziness in the yeah. country this week. So, so Jay, tell us. I've been avoiding the news a yeah, lot. Yeah, so, so I, been avoiding. I, I need you to. And so there's been like. This week had three heavy events. Um, there was a guy out of Florida that was shipping or mailing um, mail bombs to influential um, Democratic people or people that have been against Trump. Let me put it that way. Um, we get CNN and, you know, they even sent it to President Barack Obama and President Clinton. Um, um, it's just kind of crazy. Just kind of crazy. Even today, they found another package that was at the CNN in Atlanta from this same dude that they were able to get like a fingerprint off. You know? Oh, they found him. Yeah. Oh. Dude drove a van like that one van we saw that had like all the Trump stuff. Oh, I really? saw it at the light. But yeah, and so so his dumbass let, let the fingerprint. Yeah, it was a light fingerprint. You know, they they managed to get it and and yeah, he probably so, like touched the packing tape when he bought it and then he. <laughs> I don't know, man, but he had a history of 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 doing doing stuff like this, right? You know, without sending bombs, not this, yeah, level, yeah, yeah. But just absolutely hating, you know, those that are against Trump and stuff like that. Um, so um, that happened. Found him um, on Wednesday here in Louisville. Um, there was a 51-year-old Caucasian guy that, um, went to Kroger, and he shot and killed, um, two African-American folks, one inside the store, Mm -hmm. walked up to him while this gentleman was helping his grandson, shot for school supplies, shot him right in the back of the head, um, then came out, uh, to the parking lot and shot a lady. Um, after they arrested him... They found surveillance that he had went to a historical African American Baptist church, trying to get in. Um, and then right after he left there, he went straight to Kroger to go kill folks. Um, it is believed, and 
that it is a racially motivate racially motivated hate crime. Um, but Kentucky has some some laws. Weird here. laws. So and weird. The thing is, hate crime law here does not include homicide or murder. So if you kill someone because they're black because they're Mexican because they're whatever right it's not a hate crime right and hate crime isn't just a term hate crime determines if they'll if if, if they could be up for parole it affects the length of mm-hmm. you know sentence and everything shock treatment and all shock, that yeah thing. yeah but oh, it's, shock therapy whatever it I is. don't know how murder is not on there it's not on there because I guess in, because they thought that it would be used too much because we're in Kentucky maybe I think they were like, well, that could be used to, you know, da, 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 da. if a white person kills a black person, they'll just call it a hate crime. Is well, what they would probably, you know, that's their stupid defense. Because so it's, yeah. anyway, I, I don't even want to, I don't even want to get all the way into uh, that. Like, we're I want get to all the way into it. But Kentucky's hate crime laws are dumb. Yeah. Say that. Um. So that, and then on Saturday. Yes, Saturday, there were 11 people um, murdered in a Pittsburgh uh, synagogue. Um, That was heartbreaking. Yeah, and of course, this guy also had a history of of hate. Well, the guy in Kentucky had history of hate as well. Um, And then this person that went to synagogue and shot up 11 folks was the same. So... This is really making me okay. This music is just a little bit too much. It's just a little bit too much. <laughs> I was trying something new. It's just right. a little bit too much. Um, the uh, this made me put on. I said ten full hat, but then Johnny Feist was like, "You can just wear a regular hat." <laughs> I really feel like that someone made a call to arms. You know, to put fear in the folks mm-hmm. before the vote that's coming on Tuesday, November sixth. You know, I, I just I, try, I feel like they're trying to send a message. I, I, I don't know. It's just kind of crazy, and I hate thinking that. I typically don't think down that road, right? But it's just like out of the woodwork. This is all of a sudden. You know. Yeah, it's. I mean, things have kind of always been crazy, and there've been shootings and all, but it's right. just, it's escalated to a point where it's nuts. And I avoid Facebook for the most part. Mm-hmm. I go to my mommy group and I look at Jay's, and that's it. Well, for really. me, I mean, I pretty much turn off all my notifications. Yeah. Well, um, I want my notifications for my mommy group. So. Yeah. So <clears> I pretty <throat> much turn off all most of my notifications. Um, I rarely go on to Facebook as much. I only spent one hour in Facebook last week. Wow. Wow. And outside of, you know, some of my posts, like like when I post stuff and people start replying, mm-hmm. I typically don't read it. And I got a text about one of my posts yesterday. And I went and checked on it. And I was like, okay, that's kind of going sideways checked on it today it's going sideways even more and I was like you know what I just deleted the post because the purpose of that post wasn't for those two to argue about what they were arguing about you know what I'm saying Yeah. it was more so about you know that homeboy should be up for hate crime Yeah. you know and everything else so there we go Heavy stuff at the beginning. We got polygamous and races. Yes. So right now, we're going to have good old-fashioned... Lemme. Cowboy stuff. Lemme. Hey, y'all. Lemme. It was Red Dead Day today. And Red Dead Day is the day that I play Red Dead all day, didn't go to work. So I, So we got Red Dead on Friday. And... I played that night and first let me say that game is gorgeous mm-hmm. the detail the animations are on point like it looks like a like so much looks like a real horse's and 
animations. It's awesome. The hair on the horse is a little stiff, but you know what that's about, right? No, what? What is that about? If we had the, if we had it the PlayStation not. Pro, shut up! No, it's seriously. Not. If we had the what? PlayStation Pro. Oh, okay. Well, the 4K one. So it, so then the tail would be all silky and yeah. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, but the game is great. The, the they put text in this game that will never be read. Seriously, they write pages and pages of text for like little pamphlets you find out in the wild, and no one's gonna read all that. And but yet they write it anyway. Um, uh, it. I didn't know that it was a prequel. I I didn't read enough about it. Apparently, it's really a prequel. Yeah. So that explains a lot, then. Yeah. So we're not gonna okay. talk about what was in the beginning because no spoilers at all game is brand new um i was wondering it's a huge game i mean a huge game um there's so much to do and uh i've told this story a billion times but i haven't thrown it on the podcast i'm gonna tell it again before you can tell that i'm with shaz no i am shaz very say? salty that it's not on pc yet very salty. a lot of people are salty about that because it's 2020. Here, 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 here's 2020. why. Here's why. They did. They never released Red Dead Redemption for PC. No, they never did. Which people to this day still ask for. Ask for. Even even with the new one out. Right. I mean, this is like this is Half Life three level shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like people dream about this. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And then it's kind of like, all right. So they're like, you know what? They're doing Red Dead Redemption two. You know, mm-hmm. they're going to do it right this time. Everyone's like, they're going to put it on PC. They're going to put it on PC. And they're like, yeah, we're going to put it on PC. And everybody's like, yeah. And then whenever they made an announcement, they're like, it ain't coming until 2020. It's kind of like, what I think the hell? The, I think the consoles pay them a buttload of money. Tin, uh, tin foil hat. I think the consoles shelled out some money to make that happen. I'm just going to say that. I have no idea. Because but. they wanted the money for the games. And everybody would have been steam buying that thing. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's all the people that that rip games and it's uh, hacking the games that's on PC. Maybe they're trying to get their money. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, just wanted to break in, give my point of view of being salty on that, right. along with my brother Shazno. And tell Something. the story, babe. So, um, so many stories in this game, but my number one thing, I was trotting down the road. I hear, ah, help me, please, help me, help me. I'm like, I'm trying to be a good guy in this game. Got off my horse, ran over, guy being attacked by a wolf. You know what? I did my thing, shot the wolf. The wolf ran off. You know, I'm a terrible shot, but whatever. I went over to him, getting ready to give him some medicine or whatever. And then as soon as I was getting the medicine on my item wheel, and he died. I was like, okay, well, that sucks. So I loot his body, of course, because he's dead. Does he really need his stuff? No. Right. And I'm sitting here, and I'm sitting here watching Renee play. Yes. And she's like, oh, oh, you should you should take him back to camp and bury him. Yeah. I was like, why, why would I him? do that? Like, what? I'm like, let that, that man would, di- let that man die in yes, honor. Yes, <laughs> let that man die in honor. Let that man have a grave site. Right, I was like, right. Because I, I have a hard time telling him no. So, ugh, I threw the guy in the back of my horse and started cantering back towards camp. And, uh, you know, I'm having a good little time enjoying watching the horse animations. And there's this guy. Oh, my God. And I pull up short. I'm like, what? He's looking at me. And then he points a finger and says, murderer. I was like, what? And up in the top corner, it goes, it goes, witness. Oh, so it says. Witness, uh, investigation. It says murder. Yeah, investigation, you know, murder. And, and I was like, whoa, whoa, step back. And then I was trying to like, I was thrown. Because I was like, I didn't murder. No one. Oh, but, but so, um, so he ran off and tattletailed. And immediately I was wanted. And I just see this red cloud start <laughs> coming towards me of like 10 lawmen. I turned tail and ran. 
let me Jay thank you for saving my tail by telling me to get off the road right and <laughs> thank you f- to PlayStation for giving me no Amazon for giving me the horse or was it them anyway I got the horse that's faster oh that, that one's it's fast? faster <laughs> it saved my that. bacon it saved okay. my bacon on a lot of occasions okay I didn't know it was actually faster yes. I um, just it was and just... I upgraded the crap out of him cause you, cause you could buy tack for him to upgrade the stamina mm-hmm. and the speed so, so you can buy saddles blankets okay. uh, stirrups stuff like that and the thing is that's funny about this game is that you have to care for your horse you do because you, it's like sims it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's cowboy sims you if have to brush feed and, and calm him and calm him pat him tell him he's a good boy um because if he ends up dying he's perma gone yeah but i'll just go back to my last save f that i don't i i don't care if i lose 10 days i wouldn't because the auto saves but still i don't care if i would have lost 10 days i am not gonna lose my daggone horse they really like that is my bow i love what, him what I, what, what, have, what do I you i named him Lon- london fog it's like the name of a uh, Rain, rain jacket company, so, but still, I liked it. So let me ask, what would you do if you went back to that save and that save had the horse dead in it? It just carried on through that. Would Rage you quit, quit. Would, you, would you quit playing? I don't know, but I'd be salty for a good while. I would be so damn Would you be like, salty. man, like, like what's sir? the point of a save <laughs> if you carry on what you're trying to save to get over mm. it's like yeah you can start here i'm your, loading but your horse is still dead <laughs> it'll be like so that um when sir uh quit no man's sky for a little bit when he uh <laughs> permadeath when he from afar he just jumped it was like it was, <laughs> it was the jetpack jump and yeah. he came down bam came down too hard <laughs> he's just like it's like what that's pretty funny um yeah. so not only do you have it's sims for your horse it's sims for you if you eat too much, you get fat. You don't eat enough, you get too skinny. You wear too many clothes, you get hot. Not enough, you get cold. All this affects your stamina and your health and, and all that. Uh, you have to take a bath. You stink and animals can really smell you. Uh, and, they, and they'll and smell you from farther away. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so much more stuff to this. There's uh, hunting, fishing, more games. It's it's They've added a crap ton more stuff um which is i guess and, and no spoilers at all it's just a fun game another funny story this is great you know what i'm not gonna say that because that's a spoiler because it happened to someone else so i think it everyone kind of sees it what the horse kick, kick in the head thing that happened to me uh-huh. and it also happened to jason so i think that's a that but but I did get kicked twice. Well, no, so I think you can say that the ho- you can talk about how the horses are realistic. Yeah, the horses are I very mean, realistic. pretty much like kicks, th- they'll kick you. They'll wallop you. They will turn around and kick the crap out of you. Right. They, it kicked me in my chest, knocked me over, bowled right. me over. Like I was, I went head over heels. Oh my gosh, in a branch. Oh yeah, Renee. So you know like oh. how like on some games. Um, you can kind of ride, through the, ride through the branches and stuff like that. But if you're on a horse and you ride through a branch, you actually fall off. Yeah, it like, uh, but what's it called? Um, uh, clothesline. Yeah, the branch clotheslines you. I was like, what the crap? And, and I, was I like, love going up hills with the horse. It's, it's so much to love in this game. And all right, so let me just say, this is a spoiler. I'm, I'm not going to say why we're the lemon couple because it's a direct spoiler. So I'm not gonna say anything, but let me. That's all I gotta say. And then um, Shaz, the, pe- the people that have played it. Oh, Shaz did say um, thanks for rubbing it in his face. How good it You're is. You're so welcome, Shaz. You're <laughs> so so welcome. Uh, but <laughs> I have declared this the best game I have ever played in my entire life. Yes, folks, Tomb Raider has been unseated. As much love as I have for Laura and Laura and that IP, they rockstar this, and I just got the game. They rockstar this. Say- <laughs> come on, come on, Bro-tsh. give me some. Um, <laughs> they knocked it out of the park, and I just got the game, and I'm barely into the story mode. 
that's what it, I do. I do still hate chasing though, chasing, chasing people. But I tried this one chase like 20 times because I knew I wasn't going to catch him. So I thought I was doing it wrong at the beginning. Turns out I wasn't supposed to catch him anyway. Oh, who told you that before they walked out of the room? You. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang, you're right. I should have just played it out. But I'm like, oh, man, I'll just start it over. Cause Dude, I don't want to chase all that long. I should have just gone. should have just left. But anyway. Because um, I was listening to the dialogue. There were yeah. certain things happening. I was like, mm, that's supposed to happen. That's supposed to happen. Now, now, that change in dialogue didn't do anything. It wasn't a change in dialogue. They made it happen. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm talking about during the chase. Oh, what, what okay. the guy you he were chasing was, like was saying. saying so. Yeah. So. But uh, so yeah, um, people on PC, I'm sorry. Um, but think of the anticipation you'll have. So here's my question. In 2020. For multiplayer, will you get it on PC uh, in 2020? Or you'd be like, nah, because you know Jason and uh. Jason I and know. Jason and um, Rob are gonna get but it. But how good is the most? Like I, I need to know. And you know, Shaz yeah. is gonna get it too. I know. I, I I need to know how the multiplayer is set up and what's gonna go. At least down I'm hoping Shaz will get it. I kind of need to know that because I am finicky about my multiplayer. Okay, so if I buy Borderlands for Xbox, and you know I don't do console because you know the borderline borderlands franchise is my thing yes that's your thing that's my thing now red dead apparently is my thing now you know if i was like you know what i'll buy borderlands with this xbox i'll, I'll buy it the, i know you would the girls will be like you know six by then so they'll be old enough to leave us alone so <laughs> leave me alone i'm playing I'm playing Red Dead. Go, go, go in your room. Take his iPad. Go in All your right. room. Oh, the girls walked up. This is nothing to do with Red Dead. Just popped into my head, and I'm going to forget about it. They they walked up after I caught them in in the office playing mm -hmm. with the computer. They walked up front. Mommy, we want our own computer I know. up here. I heard them. I, I heard was them. like. I heard them. I have a no. computer here with a, with a heart. <laughs> I mean, I have a heart. So, since you don't want that SSD. I do. I just need to. I was just going to install that one into their computer but then replace the one because uh, the one. Oh, oh, oh. So, they are getting a computer. I mean, I have. I'm, they will get mom's computer. Okay. I mean, I can buy another SSD. No. Which is, I mean. but No, you can just use that one. I mean, they're not that much. I mean. I mean, I had thought about it. Get go ahead and setting them up. I've been talking about it already. All right. So and then also the one that I've had a computer. The one that Dad dropped old. off. I'm thinking about. I'm gonna take a look at it and see. <laughs> I mean, make. I'm gonna right. put a hard drive out and right. stuff and everything else. But anyway. So that's Red Dead. I I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it for everybody else. Right. But let me just say it is fantastic. Yeah. Um. So I look forward to playing some more. Yep. Yeah. So I went to Costco earlier this week um, on a trip to pick up um, just some things we needed for the house. Mm -hmm. And um, I walk in and lo and behold, on the shelf was this sound bar, a 2.1 surround sound, which means it's, you know, two channels in a subwoofer, mm -hmm. um, um, was sitting um, was sitting there that I had been looking at. It's usually been around almost 200 bucks. I mean, it was the last one, and they had it for $75. And I was like, oh, my God. And I bought it. <laughs> and Renee knows I know, knew I had been looking for a sound bar for about a year now. And I was like, uh, okay. It sold me that it was the last one, and it was on sale. Yeah. Right. So that sold and me. And so I ended up getting the sound bar, and it is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, it's funny. Because when we're watching like regular TV, like the news, you can hear all the rumbling of people and stuff like that. And Renee's always like, is her car outside? Yeah. <laughs> or like, it sounds like music. I was like, music? No, it's, it's the subwoofer. It's just the bass. It's just kind of coming through. It's what it is, you know. So 
So yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, it's amazing. Um, hearing Renee play it with her game, um, Red Dead. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Plays Even though you don't like his voice, you don't like Arthur's voice. Was, were you supposed to say that? What? Arthur? Yeah, they already. Nah, I'm just messing. Um, oh. so, um, so yeah, his, his yeah, he's a little annoying. His voice is like he's trying too hard, but you know, I, I'll probably be alright. You know. Um, and then also Wednesday here in Louisville is supposed to be horrible um, weather-wise, which is Halloween Day. Um, so there's been a lot of scrambling here in the city of Louisville and all the neighborhoods. The mayor said all the neighborhoods are the ones making the decision of when they're going to do trick-or-treating mm -hmm. for the kids. Um, so a good number of those cities and neighborhoods have said they are going to do trick or treating tomorrow, November, um, October the thirtieth. Yeah, so we're gonna go early. So we're gonna go early, um, which Renee has been joking all day about how you know she's like that person on Facebook, was like when I was young, we never changed Halloween days. Yes, exactly. And then her dad came over and was like, oh, yeah, that was one year. No, it I was like, <laughs> I was like oh. are you really going to believe him? Oh, yeah, of course. Of I can't course. remember nothing. Okay. And you can? No. Okay. But I'm just saying, he can't either. So I'm going to take We're the more. impasse with that. So I'm going on the fence that it did change. The reason I say that is because I remember some when it was on a Sunday. They moved it to a Saturday. That you weren't here in Louisville, though. So? Anyway. Yeah, JK. Renee was very much like back in my day. Wanted mm -hmm. to call all the kids mm -hmm. wimps and they'd do anything for the kids. Anyway, I am glad that it was Moose, who we don't have to worry about going indoors. Um, we're going to Norton Commons. Okay, so why were you talking so much stuff? I can still talk junk and still be happy. That does not make sense, but okay. You married me, so that doesn't make sense. Why are you victim shaming me? <laughs> what? You're I, a victim for marrying me? Is that what you're saying? Huh? Are you saying you're a victim for marrying me? No. Oh. Just checking. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to the Hoity Toity um, Norton Commons tomorrow. Uh, and this is our big test for Maya. Um, for those of you all who have been, you know, following along, uh, our daughter Maya has been diagnosed with anxiety. Well, she has not been diagnosed. Not, not been diagnosed. Sorry. As soon as I said <laughs> that, I'm like, crap. She has not been officially diagnosed, but she's been having, she has she's been, she's been worrying a lot yeah. and being super scared and so we, we, we've been going to a therapist to have her and us learn some coping mechanisms and um, so tomorrow's the big test is Halloween. Uh, she's excited about the the Halloween party at school on Wednesday mm -hmm. and then I was like are you excited? I was like how about going outside to go tr trick or treating and she, she was like outside no <laughs> I was like why she's like because decorations so we'll just have to work through it when we get there mm. poor thing so um we're gonna take it day by day but um i am excited that our baby graduated from therapist <laughs> i didn't even know that was a thing but apparently yay well no it's about it's about praising yeah and everything else so. she got a little certificate um said congratulations learn how to be brave and um so that was really cool and plus they got chocolate so yeah which they gave me so much crap about during dinner how much do i have to eat it's too much time because ah, told them they couldn't have until after dinner oh my god it's like if you is. you spent more time whining about eating your food than you did actually eating it, and you could have had chocolate faster. I'm just saying, child. You tell them, babe. Um, but I, I love the kids. They're they're great kids. 
be I'd be crazy sometimes with with our great kids. So, um, I think my day off did 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 me good. I'm feeling okay, feeling good. Okay. Um, I don't want to do any cleaning after this, but uh, I will. Um, yeah. So that's all I got. You got anything to share with the masses, massa? <sighs> <laughs> Oh, no. Nah, I don't think I have anything else. You so, don't? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to work tomorrow. Boo. I wish I, could, wish I could be playing Red Dead. Boo. Do you really wish you could play Red Dead? Yeah. It's fun. Let me play it for you. No. That, <laughs> that would not help me in the slightest. That's, <laughs> that does not help. You should watch uh, Escaping. Oh, wait. I can't watch it. You got stuff to do, girl. And plus, I can't. Oh, yeah. That's okay. We'll watch it other times. But I just want to. I just want to say. Let me. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right, uh, everyone. Let's. <laughs> Do their contact info or you don't sure. care? Sure. You can reach out to us at email at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. If you're my sister or JK or anyone else that have my text number, you can just text me. And a huge shout out to my sister, Renee. I love you, girl. Yay. Thanks for contacting me. And thank you for still watching and everything else. And just so nice uh, knowing that we're keeping up that way. So. Um, hopefully see you soon. Yep. And the Facebook page is Valentine Cast. YouTube video can be seen of this and previous episodes at our page Valentine Cast. Jay's Twitter feed is The Cowboy. That's T H E C A O B O I. And my Twitter feed is The Ice Flow. And also, our website is ValentineCast.com. You cut me off. Oh, I thought you were done. I apologize. You were taking forever. No, I was. Shouting out to my sister because she's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, Valen Tavern, for being here. Thank you for being awesome. And, uh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Raina. Raina loves my glasses. Oh, hi. Think. Hey, baby. <laughs> that's, that's my girl. Yeah. Hey, baby. Well, cool. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Bye, y'all. Bye.
All right, that's a wrap, everyone. Let's see here. No introduction, get profile. All right, no introduction. Get profile. Noise reduction. Oh, I gotta select everything. Effect noise reduction. I hope everyone has. Aw, thanks, y'all. Hope you a, have a good week. Have a great week. Happy Halloween. Um. Ooh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let me put this right here. Plugged our podcast with my therapist. Can't with you, babe. I was wondering like, what, what was going on. I was like, what's going on with Renee? Because I, I can kind of tell she probably. She was wondering. So I was like, hey. All right, I had to update the city website real quick. So that people know. Told me episode two fifty three. All right, um, everyone, have a great one. I'm gonna stop the video because I'm hot. And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna derobe.